The Handley Page Victor was a British strategic V-bomber. The other two V-bombers was the Avro Vulcan and the Vickers Valiant. The Victor was intended as a part of the UK's airborne nuclear deterrent. The Handley Page Victor would be the last of the V-bombers, and was retired as late as 1993. After the Second World War, and the first use of atomic weapons, an atomics weapon program and nuclear deterrent policies were developed in Britain. A government decision to develop British atomic weapons was expected in January 1947, and at the same time the Air Ministry planned for the replacement of piston-engined heavy bombers, like the Avro Lancaster. Specification B-3546 was issued to aviation companies, which called for a medium-range bomber landplane, capable of carrying one 10,000-pound bomb to a target 1,500 nautical miles from a base anywhere in the world. A cruising speed of 580 miles per hour at between 35,000 feet and 50,000 feet was required. The 10,000-pound bomb was specified as a special gravity bomb, a freefall nuclear weapon. The aircraft was not required to have any defensive weapons. Handley Page submitted the Handley Page HP-80 as a proposal. The design had a crescent-shaped swept wing, which enabled a high cruise speed. The nose and tail were also designed to meet the demands for speed. The HP-80 was chosen as one of the best two of the proposed designs, and two prototypes were ordered. The swept wing design was tested on a half-scale glider, designated the HP-87, and on a modified supermarine attacker, which was designated the HP-88. The HP-88 crashed in August 1951, after only two months. The two prototypes were built, and one of the prototypes performed the first flight on December 24, 1952. The flight lasted 17 minutes. Ten days later, the aircraft was given the official name Victor. The prototypes performed well, but one of the prototypes crashed July 14, 1954. Unfortunately, the crew did not survive. The first production version was the Victor B-1. It was powered by Armstrong Siddeley Sapphire ASS A7 turbojets, and was initially armed with the Blue Danube nuclear weapon. Later this was substituted for the Yellow Sun weapon. The B-1 could also carry Mark V nuclear bombs, which were owned by the U.S., and the British Red Beard tactical nuclear weapon. 24 B-1s were later upgraded to B-1As, and were equipped with the Red Steer tail warning radar. On June 1, 1956, a Victor B-1 broke the sound barrier, making it the largest aircraft that had reached the speed of sound. The Victor B-2 had Conway RCO-11 engines, which provided more thrust. The B-2 also had extended wingtips, and retractable intakes on the rear fuselage. These intakes provided airflow to ram air turbines, that could provide electrical power in case of emergency situations. The first prototype B-2 crashed on August 20, 1959, during high-altitude tests. The cause was later found to be that the flight control system had forced the aircraft into an unrecoverable dive. A minor change was made to solve this problem, and the B-2 entered service in February 1962. 21 B-2s were later upgraded to the B-2 or standard, which were equipped with higher thrust Conway RCO-17 engines, and the ability to carry blue steel nuclear missiles. With the move to low-level penetration missions, the Victors were fitted with air-to-air -air refueling probes and large underwing fuel tanks. Also, 9B2s were converted for strategic reconnaissance purposes, and were fitted with cameras, a bomb bay-mounted radar mapping system and sniffers that could detect particles from nuclear testing. These aircraft were designated SR-2. When Vickers Valiant tankers were retired in 1964, the Victor B-1 and B-1A aircraft were repurposed for tanker duty. The designation of the tanker aircraft was the K-1 and the K-1A. Later, 24 B-2s were also converted to tankers, and were designated the K-2. The Handley Page Victor could carry heavier weapons than the other two types of V-bombers. Among other weapons, it was capable to carry the 22,000-pound Grand Slam or two 12,000-pound Tallboy earthquake bombs, up to 48 1,000-pound bombs or 39 2,000-pound sea mines. The Victor entered RAF service in 1957, and were retired as strategic bombers at the end of 1968. However it served in other capacities until 1993. The Victor was never used as a bomber in combat, 
but Victor refueling aircraft were involved in bombing missions on Argentine performed by an Avro Vulcan during the Falklands War. Victor K-2 tankers were also deployed in the 1991 Gulf War. In total, 86 Handley Page Victors were produced. <laughs>